Morning and welcome to BTV, where we cover news for the students, by the students. I'm Felicia Cardi. And I'm Tyler O'Connor. Here with Becton's November Monthly News Report. In today's story, we highlight the recent election of Joe Biden and Kamala Harris. On November 20th, Biden is sworn in as president and Harris as vice president. Kamala Harris is the first woman vice president and future president Biden pledges to bring America back together. Well, Tyler, one of my favorite holidays is quickly approaching. Who doesn't love an opportunity to eat as much food as possible in one sitting? Yeah, my favorite part of the desserts. I'm so grateful for that apple pie my mom makes. Speaking of gratitude, we have a lot of wonderful events taking place this month. The peer leadership students complete their big thank you project for this month by sending emails and videos out to teachers who help support students during the pandemic and make learning as fun as possible from home. This month, the National Honor Society and peer leaders team up to collect non-perishable food items for holiday baskets. These baskets will be delivered to families affected by COVID in all three of our communities, Carlsat, East Sutherford, and Maywood. Please bring any non-perishables such as canned vegetables, stuffing, mac and cheese, canned chicken, soups, canned fruits, and more to the main office's collection box. Collections will begin November 9th and run until December 18th. These baskets will be delivered to the families affected by COVID in all three of our communities. People aren't the only ones we worry about this time of year. The Paws Club will be collecting pet food and treats, old towels, sheets or blankets, paper towels, cat litter, and baby wipes. All items will be donated to the Bergen County Animal Shelter and the Humane Society of Bergen County. Please be sure to bring in the donations to the rear parking lot of the high school on November 13th before school starts. Oh, those animals are so adorable and so helpless. You're right. It's really nice to see Becton doing so much good this time of year. You're right. Even the seniors are getting a special treat this month. This month, the school is showing seniors how grateful we are for all of their hard work. The week leading up to the Turkey Day, seniors will be given a special holiday treat. Let's head over to Jarrell to see how this upcoming week's weather is looking. Many of us were puzzled over the odd weather matchup of sunshine in November, but none of us were complaining. Let's take a look at the upcoming weather. Temperatures drop considerably as the rain ushers in. For more of this week, we end up with some wet weather and cooler temperatures reaching low in the 50s and even chillier at night. Humidity is up and we have those northeast winds bringing in the cooler weather. That's going to do it for this month's weather report. Back to you. Thanks, Jarrell. And now let's head over to Juan for our Student of the Month highlight and teacher feature. For today's Becton's interview, I decided to interview Ms. Bronski. She is one of the newest math teachers here at Becton. I think I always knew that uh, I want to be a teacher. I remember when I was a little child playing with teddy bears and I was a teacher, there were my students. As a teacher, you need to be able to adapt. You need to be able to be uh, flexible because things around are, us are changing. Um, I don't think there is a specific person in my life that uh, inspired me to become a math teacher. I felt like I always was good with numbers, so I definitely wanted to do that. And I always um, liked helping others to break down difficult concepts. So I felt like teaching is something that I uh, definitely will enjoy. I don't really know if it's a trick, but I see a lot of students coming to my classroom not being confident in being able to do math. And I think the most important for me is to help them understand that they are capable of doing it. And once they believe it, the magic happens, everything's possible. It gives me great pleasure to announce November's Student of the Month Tenzin Jordan. Tenzin is an exceptional student and one of Becton's best. Tenzin has always exerted himself to take the most demanding subjects that we have to offer here at Becton Regional. This year alone, he has taken four advanced placement courses, two honors level courses, and has earned an impressive 99.8 GPA. And he's also ranked fifth in his class of about over 125 students. Tenzin incorporates an immense amount of time and energy to many of Becton's activities, whether through his role on the school's tennis team, 
as a captain or as a key member of the debate team, Tenzin knows how to engage in those around him. His leadership skills are quite evident as he has also been selected as the president of the National Honor Society. Outside of the classroom, Tenzin is well-rounded and loves to learn. He is fascinated by capturing and analyzing human interaction. That's how he picked up photography as a hobby. Tenzin is mature and well aware of his situations around him, whether it is through his extracurricular activities or his ongoing presence in mentorship and leadership positions, he values being engaged as a civic member of our school community. He is innately and intuitively an individual and a self learner. During the COVID-19 pandemic and quarantine, he even taught himself how to play the guitar. Tenzin is a top student who is well-liked and highly respected by the faculty and his peers. A personable and well-rounded and mannered young man, Tenzin is applying to some top colleges, including Columbia University, which is currently his first choice. There's no doubt in my mind that Tenzin will be a success no matter where he chooses to go to college. Congratulations to Tenzin on being the 2020 Beckton Regional High School November Student of the Month. During the week of November 9th through 13th, schools throughout the country will celebrate National School Psychology Week to highlight the important work school psychologists and other educators do to help all students thrive. This year's theme is The Power of Possibility, which conveys hope, growth, resilience, and renewal. Focusing on possibilities can help us set goals, identify action steps, communicate needs, and engage in discussions to help create the connections necessary for students to develop critical academic and social emotional skills. Thank you to our school psychologists. Debate continues their varsity competition on Friday, November 20th from 8 a.m. to 2 p.m. This year, the tournament will be held virtually via Zoom, and students will participate from home. If you grew up watching Jeopardy!, then you were saddened by the news of host Alex Trebek's passing. The TV personality and game show host, synonymous with the show Jeopardy!, was the host for 36 years from 1984 until his recent death this in November. Our sympathies go out to the Trebek family. Becton's Wildcats soccer team played Sea Caucus after a long-awaited game due to quarantine. The game ended in 5-4 defeat, but the Wildcats still go on to states against Cedar Grove November 14th. Football team beat Hazard Kites October 30th, a win that they dedicated to head coach, Coach Mars, and his brother. Our strong Wildcats football team goes on to play Park Ridge for the playoffs, where they hope to score another win. We celebrate all our military forces and those who have served this country during this Veterans Day. Thanks to Ms. Ferris, teachers have delivered over 100 letters to current and former military students, thanking them for their service in our country. Well, that's going to do it for today, Becton. I'm Felicia. And I'm Tyler. Be sure to keep wearing those masks. And tune in next month. Have a great November, Becton. <laughs>